So are having cows on the homestead still worth it for us? I don't know. It's not looking good. And when I say not worth it, I'm talking financially. Having them here though, for us is quite a pleasure. But financially, it's, um, it's not working out the way we had planned. And what do I mean by that? Well, we had a five year plan to break even with the cows. That was how we worked it out financially. That was how we had planned to make it work. And you see Freya here? Well, she was supposed to get pregnant twice already. And she's not yet pregnant. So that has kind of thrown a wrench into our entire plan. So we, over there behind, she got pregnant twice. We had uh, sirloin with uh, T-bone, the other bull. And now we've had Legatha laying down there. She was from Joe here. But Freya, for some reason, didn't like either of the boys or didn't want to get pregnant or, you know, she, uh, they weren't able to reach her because she's a big girl. So I'm not sure what's going on, but um, it's kind of forcing us to make a decision now on what we're going to do with her. So we, it would definitely be hard. Uh, we don't want to harvest her. It, uh, that would really, really not be good for us. Uh, we could do it if we needed to. Um, but we what we'd rather do is you know figure out some way to make sure she does get pregnant or uh, Maybe sell her to someone else Or trade her for another female so right now We are now looking at a possible five-year uh, Time frame to break even on the cows so if we had had two um, little ones when we had sirloin we could have sold one and because we're keeping Legatha over there the little baby that means we don't have anything to eat uh, this coming year as well so what is gonna have to have to happen is we're either gonna have to buy well we are gonna have to buy a cow this year to harvest because we don't think we want to harvest Joe. Joe's been an awesome bull. So what we might do is trade him for a different bull or um, sell him and use that money to buy a female. We already have a female picked out where we got Freya and we and Joe as well. So she's already had a few babies and she's pregnant now. So she'll come here and then have a baby, which is really nice. And that will help expand our herd as well. So now with Freya, hopefully, you know, we either find a buyer for her or hopefully by the time we've made the decision, Joe has worked his magic and we find out she is pregnant. That would be, that would be the ideal situation right now. Yeah, so having... Uh, two young babies the same time we had sirloin and legatha You know it would have meant we were able to either sell those two for probably around 2000 to 2500 so it's about a loss of five thousand dollars not having Frey get pregnant those two times or it's also a loss of that meat that um, we weren't able to harvest so that kind of sets us back uh, to our seven-year plan instead of a five-year plan we still want to go forward having the highlands it's definitely something we are not going to stop we're actually thinking of investing a bit more in them like i said we're going to get another cow so then we have three in total that will be able to give birth and then the following year uh, legatha will be two and then she'll be able to uh, produce as well. So that'll be nice. But we're also looking at investing into more 
facilities on the farm. So we've already been talking to a couple um, equipment dealers and we'll probably be replacing our crush and our run or alley with some new stuff that is specific for the cows. The, the big problem too was with Freya here, she figured out that she could jump over what we've got and she figured out that she can get out of what we've got now because it is just wood, uh, it's just a wood run made with uh, pine logs. So she's able to bust out of that and jump out of that the way it's configured right now. So we're gonna invest in some metal runs uh, hopefully, we're going to try and fit that into the budget, make sure we can afford it. Uh, we'll probably sell our crush that we have now and replace it one with one that is Highland specific. So as you can see here, our run, uh, the alley, the chute is kind of put together with uh, pine logs. It was doing the job for a bui, but uh, not Freya. So what we're gonna have to do is upgrade this to make it suitable for Freya. Uh, she knows she can get out. We doesn't know she can get out yet. So we wanna make sure we get it upgraded before they both are able to get out. Uh, Joe, we haven't put him through anything that, through the chute or the alley yet. He's been inside it and walked around in that, but uh, we haven't tried to put him through the crush at all. We haven't had a real reason to yet. We want to take some more time and our plan was to take some more time and be able to run them through the chute, not run them, but like, you know, let them walk through it to get used to it. Just leave it open and have them let go through nonstop. But uh, it's still the way it's designed, again, is designed for cows without horns. So having them go through it, they have to move their head, they have to tilt it a bit to be able to make sure their horns get angled through. So our goal is to replace this crush here, again, with something that is Highland specific. Uh, we found one that we like, we just need to figure out how to get it here and pay for it. So we've got a bunch of stuff that we wanna do, a bunch of projects in the works, so Trying to do everything at once is, is gonna be a little tricky, but we'll see how we do. Um, again, if the if Freya had had the two babies, you know, that would have been an extra 5K that we could have put back into everything here, but it's not, so it's kind of set us back a bit. But yeah, we might sell that one and then get get the one that's Highland specific. There's no reason to keep two of them. Um, that it's a nice crush, it's awesome. But um, if we're not gonna be using it, then there's no point keeping it. We might as well take that money and put it into the new one. So with all of that said, it's, um, that's kind of our plan now. You know, we got pushed back a bit because of the uh, not having the babies. But, uh, you know, we're, it's not like we're gonna give up on the cows at all. We still love having the cows here. They provide us with an amazing amount of joy and happiness. So that is something that uh, is hard to replace for us, even though, you know, we could be, if we didn't have the cows, we could be doing vacations and that sort of stuff. But then again, we still have the chickens and that sort of thing. So. But having the cows is worth it for us. Um, it's just gonna take a bit more to pay off on the finances side. So another two years probably to break even. And then, uh, and then we should hopefully be making some money with them rather than uh, spending money on them. Right, Joe? So if you're thinking of getting cows for your homestead, I definitely think it is something you have to plan out. Um, there's a lot of infrastructure that goes into it, uh, especially if you're getting the highlands because of the horns. There's a little extra thinking into what facilities work well for them. Uh, for example, the alley, the chute, the crush, that sort of thing. So you wanna make sure you're set up for them. 
but uh, I do think it's worth it for a homestead if you if you're looking to be able to make an investment in them for say the three the five the seven years then uh, the payoff is definitely worth it in my opinion it uh, you just got to be able to make it work financially for that time that you know you start growing your herd for anyone else who's getting into homesteading what I would suggest is if you want the red meat you want to harvest a cow you don't want to grow a big herd is just buy one from auction every spring raise it up till the fall and then uh, harvest it in the fall it uh, that's what we do with the pigs and uh, makes a big difference so I hope you guys uh, found this video a little informative be sure to leave us your comments on whether you think it's worthwhile to uh, keep them cows based on what I've said or not or whether you would think about having them hit that like and subscribe too thanks again guys